Mike North here on Sports Talk Chicago. Mike, I wanted to talk about Matt Eberflus and Brian Poles. Mm -hmm. um, new regime. They won their mm -hmm. first game. How confident are you in them moving forward? I liked what they did. If they didn't do well, I'd be beating the crap out of them. And everybody knows it. And so I think the reason you hang around doing what you do is to be fair. Okay. Um, be fair. And I, like I, we just talked to her, I don't think the media has been fair with Trubisky. I think it, a lot of it's been fake news. They hid the naggy, uh, not wanting to go to the meeting story for, for, for two years. Shame on them. Um, I just think, I don't want the disco want that fact that they guys want to bring back clothes. Oh, don't do that. I like the sliding. Be original. Don't go back to that era. That didn't <laughs> stop. You, you just keep your head. I don't think Eber Flukes and Flo Poles will do that. If they do, I think they're going back a little bit. And, and they're acting like college people again, which Nagy, his judgment has been flawed in everything that he's done. So why would you adopt anything that had anything to do with that saboteur? So I think they got the players hustling, not worrying about what's going to be on the dance mix after the game, okay, or what club they're going to. So I like what they're doing. You remember Club Dub after that pathetic Thanksgiving win last year over the Lions? Remember they all got together? They were so excited. They barely won that game. That was a pathetic win, and they were all celebrating. Yeah, I mean, it just it just showed you that Nagy had this team brainwashed. And I don't think these two guys, and I'll give credit to Bill Polian so far, they might still only win two, three games. But to beat the San Francisco 49ers is something that this team will learn from, no doubt.